Okay, so we're gonna be doing a Shaker Hershey's and I am going to go over everything that I'm using. Um, I'm gonna be using a cellophane bag. I'm gonna use a paper cutter. I am using a one inch um, double-sided tape. I am using also a one fourth inch tape and you can use glue gun as well. I'm using some glitter, some very fine glitter, and I'm using a little bit of sequins and scatter. I'm not using these um, bigger pieces, so whatever I use on the shaker is going to be super flat, okay? So each label is seven inches by 5.5. I did this in Photoshop, but of course, like you could use Canva. Uh, Microsoft Word, whatever you have. So I'm just making my cuts. So after you cut your uh, wrap out, you want to cut your bag. And I cut the bottom side because this doesn't rip as easily. Um, so I do a little bit longer than the actual wrap not a whole lot just just a little bit and then this side as well you can always cut off the excess if you don't want to use it okay so now I'm gonna take my sequin tape and I'm going to add it to the edges not all the way on the edge but pretty close to it. So I'm gonna take my one inch tape and I'm going to add that here to the edge. Now, of course, you can use a thinner tape. They have the same brand of uh, tape, which works really well in smaller sizes, like, you know, the 1 8 inch. However, I noticed that this works better for me just because it gets a good seal on the edges without um, opening. And another thing that's good is that if you get a crease in, that's why I do it one side at a time, because if you do get a crease in your tape, you can still pick it up and it won't damage, okay? So that's the other reason why I do one at a time because it helps me navigate each, each part. And then add your scatter. So forgive my Hershey. I've been using this uh, for my testing and it looks really beat up so I'm gonna make sure my scatter goes back okay, just pull that side really tight and you can sew this on to the um, Hershey if you want and if you you know if your placement's not good you can always pick that up and replace it Again, another reason why I like using tape more than uh, hot glue. Okay, let's see what that's looking like. And then don't pull it as tight on the top um, because you do want to give the scatter some, some movement. Okay, now just pull that in real close. Pull that side in real close. 
now you have you know your shaker and then you can take your crimper go back and forth a few times <clears throat> so people i have seen use just the cello on the front the issue that i had was like the next day it was lifting up and the glitter was like everywhere so you can you know of course try it out a few different ways to see how it works but this is what i found worked the best all right so this is my final product um i did still manage to get a few of the bigger pieces in there which is still fine um they actually just kind of they still move around in there um but i do try and put mostly flat um, but this is my final product if you have any questions please let me know down below in the comments i thank you as always for watching and i'll see you on the next video